hello friends today i am coming with one more health checkup okay so uh, this script is having in my repository from very long time onwards so i have done some little bit changes there are so many things that need to be edited as per your requirement and also the existing code also need to be changed sometimes but not that all not necessary but if you add any other requirements for that you need to add so what are the uh, so i am giving the code so what are the things that you need to change from your end first of all you need of uh, you need to have the sql server text here you just go here go to text here now come to here or uh, now you have to provide the sql server where you have kept the instances as of now to test the error handling as well this is the default instance this is the named instance i don't have any instance on this 2025 again i am giving the lenovo instance whether it is working or not for error handling how it is handling and everything to test that okay now i am closing that so now you have to provide the sql server list path and where the file should be get generated okay so that you need to uh, give the test path where you need to file the file should get generated okay now these are the two things that you need to change from your end after that you don't need to do anything as of now go to the instance as of now if you see there are no tables any in msdb database this script will create some tables and those it felt uh, will get from there okay now 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 just open this query and execute effort is generating for lenovo and sql 19 for 2025 there is no instance it has to throw error and after that it has to continue for another error so as of now uh, there is like uh, these many sql servers right okay yep one more got generated now this is now first of all yeah see for lenovo network related error and it was now i will i will uh, i am deleting all these files once and I will generate again. So once you go here, see the Lenovo name, MySQL Health Checkup, today date and time. Lenovo host name and the instance name, my uh, name and time. Okay, now if I open here, see you will able to get the data like this. My my host name is Lenovo. I'm running from Lenovo. This is the processor name. This is the count name. This is the operating system name. What is the total GB? From how long? Uh, from how long I have not been restarted our SQL server? Like all this information, uh, like uh, you just verified mirroring was not set up on this system. Always on is not set up in this system. So what are the columns that you don't like? You can remove. And what are the columns that you like to add? You can add it there as well okay so yep this is all the things so now if i open here msdb tables refresh see so many tables will get created for this health checkup all, all this information what you are seeing all this information it is facing from these tables only but if i see here see all this information it is facing from here only now for example, if you want to use the latest uh, code under uh, like this, you have to update here as well. If 2025 is coming, 2027 or whatever operating, you have to update the like, code and everything. Okay. So I hope I have tested on like 2016, 17, 19, 22, and it is working fine. So you lower versions that way you need to cross check and like I'm sharing the code in my Google Drive. You can get it from there okay and like uh, whatever that like uh, issues that you are having you can comment it on like uh, if you are good enough that you can try you from your end as well please let us know how you like the health script thank you bye